Good morning, Arcadia. I'm Gavin Tsang. And I'm Brendan Ho. We're glad to see you again. And I know you've missed us too. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Want to show your school spirit and also get the PE credits to show for it? Well, Pep Squad tryouts are here. There's a mandatory parent and student info meeting on Tuesday, February 10th in the lecture hall from 7 to 8 p.m. Any questions? Ask Pep Director Ms. Erickson for more information. Hey, the new Arcadia Cafe opens today at lunch. Is it going to be like your own Starbucks or Jamba Juice? I have no idea. Tara knows though. Okay. Hey Apaches, the all-new Arcadia Cafe is now open for business. We're really excited about the Apache Cafe and what we have to offer the students at Arcadia. This is a place that they deserve. We have starting off with our juice bar, which we have partnered with Robex, and they're going to be providing fresh juice to order. So students will be able to come in and pick the juices that they want, and they'll blend it right there and serve it for them. Also, we have two entrances which will be uh, different from what we had before. On one side, you'll be able to get the daily specials, burritos and tacos, and you'll go in. There's a salad bar and drink area for uh, each side. On the other side, we'll have our cold meals, such as sandwiches, and also our chicken, our chicken nuggets and things like that that can, you can get from that side. Um, both sides will enter and they exit out the same area. So come check it out today and be sure to have your ID card out and ready. This has been Tara Hike. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tara. Are you interested in going to a month-long summer program? Representatives from USC will be visiting the Career Center on Thursday, February 19th during lunch to provide information on the 2015 USC summer programs. For more information, visit summer.usc.edu. More of a UCLA fan? The Engineering Science Corps Outreach Program is recruiting high school participants for the summer tech camp. The program is offered to sophomores and juniors with a GPA of 2.5 or above. Hey, if you can have any superpower, what would it be? I would probably want to control time so I could save people whenever and wherever without wasting my day. I mean, you could still save some lives without having a superpower. Here's an announcement from our Arcadia SMW. So, you know, we're just going to ask you a couple of questions, see how well you fit with the job right now. Okay. So, what kind of stuff do you do for fun? You know, I just hang out around blood banks, high schools, hospitals, you know. Okay, next question. Uh, what do you do for your current occupation? Uh, I currently take innocent people's blood frequently. Like, you know, sometimes when you have like their veins, it's a little too hard to get. So you have to go for the neck sometimes. It's just like a little, a little annoying, but and yeah. Um, moving on, um, what is your most prized possession? Oh, oh, my bat. Your what? My bat. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. That makes sense. And uh, last question, what celebrity do you identify with the most? Oh, uh, you know, Edward Cullen. Oh my god, I know what you are. Say it, say it out loud. Vampire. <laughs> no, I'm just here with the UCLA blood drive to take your blood. That's right, the annual UCLA blood drive is March 2nd in the North Gym. If you have already completed your blue consent forms, you can turn them in to the ASB office by February 27th. But if you haven't got a chance to get forms yet, you can get them during lunch in the Rally Court, PAC Courtyard, or the Student Lot, or any time in the ASB office, Career Center, or from any SMW member. Some requirements to donate blood are you must be 16 years or older. You must be at least 110 pounds. You cannot have gotten any tattoos within the last year. Piercings in this region, including nose, lips, and mouth, are not okay, but ear piercings are. Also, if you've traveled to any country outside of the United States that is associated with malaria, please let us know. By donating, you can even get a free AMC movie ticket. Don't forget, one donation can save up to three lives. Questions? Go to www.gotblood.ucla.edu or see any SMW members. This has been Blonde Squad. Back to you guys in the studio. To all students taking any AP test this year, AP packets are available and exam sales have begun. Go online to print the packets at the AHS website. Pay in the ASB office and bring ID and also complete paperwork. Any questions? Ask Ms. Von Kriegenberg in the Student Services Building. Science Bowl had competition last weekend and dominated. We'll go to Austin Huang for more. Congratulations to our Science Bowl team who won the regional championship last Saturday and are going to Washington DC for the Nationals. Uh, science Bowl is a competition based mostly around science where they, a team of 
five people, with four playing at any given time, will answer a bunch of questions. They'll buzz in, they'll give an answer, and hopefully they're right, and if they're right they get points, and if they get points they win. Preparing for Science Bowl, we usually hold two meetings a week, about an hour and a half each, and we'll go through a lot of questions, like from previous years, we'll read through them, try to get an idea of what sort of topics will come up. Uh, this year, we went to competition regionals at JPL, and we placed first out of, I think, the 24-ish teams that went, which means we qualified for a place in the Nationals that's going to be held in D.C. this year at the end of April. We hope to do good at Nationals. Hopefully win, which is not incredibly likely, but it would be nice. Try out for Science Bowl. Good luck to our Science Bowl team in Nationals. If you see them in the hallways, please give them a thumbs up. Thanks, Austin, and congratulations to Science Bowl again. We'll be right back after this quick break. Um, I have a Valentine gram for a Nike heart lay. Anyone? It's Nicole. I don't know what's Okay. Nobody else got one, because nobody loves you! To Nicole, look behind and you will see your Valentine is... Link Crew will be hosting a lychee fundraiser next week. Individual leeches will cost 25 cents, so get yours today. I heard that Gov Team went to compete at State this past weekend. Did you hear how they did? No, I didn't, but Andrew Chow has the story. Thank you, Brendan and Gavin. This past Saturday, our Constitution team went out to Bakersfield, California to compete in the state tournament. Out of 10 competing schools, Arcadia took second overall. Okay. GovTeam is a stimulated congressional hearing. With each round has a four minute prepare response and a six minute free response. I feel like we did really well. Even though we may not have won the first place and we're not going to Nats, I feel like we definitely performed the best and I'm very proud of our team. When you start, you already know it's going to be a lot of fun, but you meet so many people, you make a lot of friends, uh, the team's my family now, and um, you come out of it a lot smarter than, than you came in. I think the biggest thing that I've, I've taken away from the Constitution team is the sense of unity with everyone, and with a group of 30 people, it's really hard to achieve that sense of family, but I have, in the last year, achieved that. Great job, Constitution team. Good luck to you guys next year. This has been Andrew Chow. Back to you guys in the studio. Have you ever wanted to go back in time? Yeah, I've always wanted to get the lottery number and win a lot of money. Well, heard of the butterfly effect? I don't think that'd be a good idea. Speaking of time travel, Patrick saw some movie about it this week. Let's see how that was. Okay, so, time travel. This week on Who Knows the Movies, we got time travel. More importantly, what would the average smart teenager do with time travel? Yup. It's that backdrop behind me titled Project Almanac. That's my seventh birthday. Whoa, did you see that? Hold on a sec. What? I just saw something weird. You guys, you gotta see this. Right there. Look in the mirror. Dude, that can't be. That's definitely me. We need to figure out what I'm doing on this tape. It's in my dad's old workshop. It's like I'm clicking or something. <laughs> what the hell is that? Here we go, Project Almanac. Temporal relocation prototype? What does that mean? It means time travel. Something my dad this follows five friends as they live their life in high school. We find that three of the friends are highly intelligent and they stumble onto something very strange. A device that the main character's father left behind. Since they are all smart, they figure out how to make it work and they figure out that it is a time machine. The movie provides an accurate representation of what the average person would do with a time machine. Let's take this thing out for a spin. I just failed my chem report. Well, it's a classification of silicon. Silicon? Are you kidding? And I don't want to repeat 12th grade. I'm going to Groundhog Day. Oxygen. And shows what type of effects these short-term decisions would have on the world. This movie was filmed with the right amount of comedy, science, and teenage love that you would be sitting on the edge of your seat questioning why the main character did some things. Although, the way the movie was filmed did cut out some backstory, but mostly keep everything to a single story plot. Even with this camera directing, the movie did come out pretty well and enjoyable. So, you people should watch this movie if you have not already. With that being said, this has been Patrick Munoz, and that concludes this week's Who Knows the Movies. Thanks, Patrick. The MIT Launch Summer 2015 program application is live. 
Go to www.launchsummer.org slash apply.html to apply. What time is it? Summertime! No. Ad adventure time? No. Sports time? No. Wait. Yeah, 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 that. Yeah? Boys basketball took on Glendale last Monday in what seemed to be one of the most interesting games of the season. Let's go take a look at some highlights. We started the game off strong when Brendan Tran did a spin move to the basket right after the jump ball. Three more points were contributed by Dejon Buchanan as he drained one from outside. Kay Chung ended the second quarter by getting the seal and putting up two easy points on the scoreboard. The Apaches did some work on the defensive end of the court coming into the third quarter as Joe Leonard got not one, but two blocks and threw it up the court to Armand for an easy lay-in. It didn't seem like Glendale liked that very much because things got heated quick. The altercation didn't seem to affect us very much as Ramsey Hope will hit two more trays to get Arcadia within striking distance of Glendale. The fourth quarter quickly became the Brendan Tran show. He hit a couple of shots and look at this beautiful no look dime to Joe Haynes. He wasn't done yet though as he got the impressive fall away layup to go down. Our energy just got up and we just started destroying. Point guards took control, they did what they had to do, and then dominated. I think what was different about this game versus the last game is we actually came out and we took it on a different approach, and our intensity level was up, our effort level was up, and I think we played more together as a team. Our boys soccer team had senior night last Friday night, where they honored all the seniors for all their dedication to the program over the years. Sadly, they tied Herbert Hoover 2-2. They also tied Glendale on Monday, and they beat John Burroughs 1-0 on Tuesday. The girls won on Wednesday 2-0 over John Burroughs, extending their undefeated streak. Also on Wednesday, Mickey Capello and Kelly Dobke signed letters of intent that signaled the culmination of their high school career and the realization of their collegiate aspirations. Congratulations, girls. Dude, did you watch the Super Bowl game? Yeah, dude, that last Seahawks play was terrible. No, not that. The commercials. Which commercials? The one that our school band was in. Oh, I didn't see it. Let's go to the highlights. Our first highlight was when our drummers were rolling with excitement. Our second highlight was when our Apaches were rocking it out. But the best highlight was when one of the band members were jamming out to them cymbals. Let's get a slow-mo replay of that. Wasn't that amazing? Or was it just mind blown? He gave us a call, asked us if we'd be interested in being a part of their NFL commercial for the Super Bowl. It was pretty crazy, like I'm not definitely used to seeing this on the daily. So we had like a dolly that went up 300 feet. It gave us like an aerial view of the marching band. It was really crazy to see. And we, they had all the stage equipment, cameras would be running by the drums. Like it's so, something I don't usually see. And it was just like, wow, this is what that Hollywood experience is like. And I'm getting to live it right here on the Arcadia field. They came upon us because they were researching marching bands and they started researching and realizing that Arcadia High School had one of the best and biggest marching bands in the country. This has been the greatest and most memorable moments the band has ever achieved. But we already know that they're gonna keep accomplishing two seconds at a time. This has been Transformers. Why are you ba talking about band in the sports segment? That's all we have for this week on Apache News. See you next time. Until then, stay, stay classy, Arcadia. Arcadia.